Welcome to a very interesting old padlock. In this video I want to show you the Illinois Do padlock. So Illinois is the lock company and Do is the type of core that's in this lock. This lock was sent to me by Apache Locksport. Yeah, John, thank you very much for, for this great lock. It's a true gem and it will stay in my collection. And I'm very proud that I own one of these rare items. So thank you. Thank you very much. Before I show you what's special on this lock, I want to quickly operate it for you. Key goes on go key goes in only one way. Works very nice and smooth. Great. Yeah, what's special on these? type of locks with the dual core. Yeah, um, these are wafer locks, but these are no uh, cheap wafer locks. These are even UL rated wafer locks. So they have the UL rating 437, which uh, tells you that among other properties, they stand a picking attack for at least 10 minutes. We will not take 10 minutes to pick into this lock, but um, at least it tells you something about the quality of the core. Yeah, it's a, it's a wafer uh, tumbler and it has three uh, biddings, three wafer biddings, and that's what you can also see on the key, of course. Zoom in. Uh, we have three biddings. One is the top bidding, that's this line here. Then we have a side bidding. And we have a bottom bidding. That's the bidding here on the other side of the key. These are independent biddings, and uh, so this makes it uh, a little bit harder uh, to pick this lock. We can quickly look inside the keyway to see the matching wafers, but I will give you uh, a better close up of the keyway a little bit later on. So here you see the bottom wafer, then the top wafer and the side wafer. And it has even um, profile wafers for key control. I want to quickly uh, draw a sketch to uh, give you some uh, details and numbers. So let's imagine that this is a, um, a sketch of the keyway. Then we have the bottom wafers, here we have five of them. Then we have the top wafers, also five of them. And uh, we have the side wafers, and here we have four of them. This makes a total of uh, 14 active wafers, and additionally there are four passive wafers for key control and these passive wafers um, or profile wafers have the exact same shape as the keyway and they prevent a wrong type of key from uh, being used in this lock and uh, even if this key had the right bidding it would not um, open the lock because the profile wafers uh, wouldn't match. Yeah. These wafers, um, by the way, of course, that's only what you see inside the keyway. The, the wafer itself goes all the way around, um, interacting with the, uh, with the inside of the lock body. Yeah. Um, the wafers itself have a very interesting shape. They're not just a rectangular. And um, I found pictures on the internet. Here you see... Um, the top and bottom wafers and they look like spools. So you can see the cutout here on the top and on the bottom and indeed you get a counter rotation on these locks. And here you see a picture of the uh, of the profile and of the uh, side wafers. Uh, closer to you uh, on the, on the uh, top of this picture, so to speak, 
we can see the the side wafer that's the one with this edge here and this one has I hope you can make this out um, a t-shape t-shape um, end here yeah here it's better to see um, yeah and it sometimes um, is exactly what you feel in this lock uh, it behaves like a like a t-pin very very nice and um, further away uh, from you you can see the weird uh, shape of the profile wafer that's the fourth type of wafer the passive wafer uh, which is used for key control all right uh, so much for the uh, shape of the wafers now we'll try to give you a nice view inside the keyway so here is a close-up on the keyway and with a little bit of light we can look inside and what you see on the right side are the bottom wafers for the bottom bidding and we can play with these wafers these are the bottom wafers and on the other side we can see the top and side wafers so these are the, the top wafers and this is the first side wafer the guy just beneath the warning here yeah these are the, the side wafers and you can also see the profile wafers because when you look um, just on the outside you can see this piece here and that piece and this repeats on the inside and that's exactly the uh, shape of the the profile wafers all right let me change my uh, setup and yeah then i will try to pick it for you so now let's pick it still works and it's locked up i will tension a lock on the side where the bottom stack is bottom uh, wafers because then it's easier for me to get access to the uh, side wafers yeah and I will start with the side wafers because I'm gonna set them first to get a full set okay, I think that's it now check the top wafers and I still refer to them as top wafers although they are now on the bottom okay a little click and the core turned I hope you have seen that so now I'm searching for for feedback because now we are in a full set I think this is set it's also set The top seem all to be set. Okay, nothing. Check the top pins again. Okay, core turned a little bit more. Maybe I have to check the, the side pins again. As we know, these are T pins. Okay, and I felt that the core turned a little bit more now. now. Let's check for feedback. Okay, this one is binding. There was a little counter rotation here.
quarter and a little bit more after this counter rotation. Seems we're getting close and we are. It's open. Yeah. Okay, that was three minutes, not ten. Hey. Yeah, great fun. Really cool lock. So much fun. Yeah, thank you very much, Apache Locksport, for sending me this fantastic lock. Everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.